thick blood causes and symptoms a person with thick blood or hypercoagulability may be prone to blood clots when blood is thicker or stickier than usual this often results from an issue with the clotting process specially an imbalance of the proteins and cells responsible for blood clotting can lead to hypercoagulability when blood is thick it can hinder the movement of oxygen hormones and nutrients throughout the body preventing them from reaching tissues and cells this can cause low oxygen levels in the cells and lead to hormonal and nutritional deficiencies in this video we provide a deeper look into how thick blood affects the body what can cause this issue and how doctors treat it causes the health issue that causes thick blood may be inherited or genetic or it may be acquired developing over time some medical conditions that cause the blood to thicken include polycythemia vera polycythemia vera is a blood disorder that originates in bone marrow the soft center of the bone where new blood cells develop Polycythemia vera involves the bone marrow making too many red or white blood cells and platelets causing the blood to thicken experts believe that polycythemia vera results from genetic changes that occur after conception it is not generally inherited in other words the changes tend to occur slowly over many years Various symptoms may appear over time including fatigue, headaches, dizziness, weakness, sweating, especially at night, itchy skin, blurred vision and ringing in the ears, abdominal fullness or bloating due to an enlarged spleen. Polycythemia vera affects 44 to 57,000 57% 57 people. 44 from 57 people in every 1 lakh and it, and it usually appears after the age of 60 years according to the National Organization for Rare Disorders. Waldenstrom Macroglobulinemia Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia is a rare type of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. The body produces large amounts of the antibody protein called immunoglobulin M. This can cause the blood to become thick resulting in a range of symptoms. The symptoms vary but they may include nose bleeds, bleeding in the gums and the retinas of the eyes as small blood vessels become damaged anemia tingling and numbness in the fingers and toes there are about 1 to 1.5 k new diagnosis of waldenstrom macroglobulinemia in the united states each year according to the american cancer society lupus including systemic lupus erythematosus according to the lupus foundation of america 1.5 million people in the united states live with some form of lupus common symptoms include rashes joint pain and swelling fever fatigue systemic lupus erythematosus is an inflammatory disease that happens when the immune system attacks healthy tissues as if they are diseased. It can affect the blood in many ways, including increasing the risk of clotting. Thrombosis A blood clot blocking, blocking a blood vessel is relatively common in the first year of living with systemic lupus erythema metosis this may result from increased disease activity including high levels of inflammation and other factors 
factor V Leiden. This results from a genetic change that increases the risk of blood clots, especially in deep veins. In most people, a protein called activated protein C regulates the activity of the clotting factor called factor V. In people with this condition, protein C cannot regulate factor V's activity, resulting in thick blood and a risk of clotting. Unregulated factor V activity leads to excessive clotting and thickened blood. Deficiencies in proteins C and S and antithrombin. The body produces natural anticoagulants such as proteins C and S and antithrombin. Some people have low levels of these substances leading to a higher risk of blood clots. This may result from an inherited health issue or develop over time. The first sign of this issue is often a blood clot. The doctor may find this during a test. If a clot forms in a deep vein, the doctor may diagnose deep vein thrombosis or DVT. If a clot breaks off and travels to block a blood vessel that supplies blood to the lungs, this is called a pulmonary embolism and it is life-threatening. Protein C deficiency affects around 1 in 200 to 500 people. Protein S deficiency 1 in 500 people and antithrombin deficiency 1 in 2000 to 5000 people. Prothrombin gene 20210A mutation. People with this genetic feature have too much of blood clotting protein factor 2, also called prothrombin. Prothrombin is one factor that enables blood to clot correctly, but too much prothrombin can increase the risk of clots forming, including those responsible for deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. The mutation affects 2-4% to of Americans of European ancestry and around 0.4% of African Americans according to the National Blood Clot Alliance. Thick blood can develop over a lifetime due to environmental factors or health conditions. Risk factors include smoking, exercise, in people with certain blood and cardiovascular conditions, hormonal changes, for example, during pregnancy, hormonal medications such as some forms of birth control, hormone replacement therapy, and testosterone therapy, inflammation, possibly caused by inflammatory bowel disease, Trauma and injury. Some diseases such as cancer, particularly multiple myeloma. Symptoms. Thick blood often produces no symptoms. The first sign may be a blood clot or a person may experience symptoms re related to, to the underlying health condition. A person may wish to consider testing if they develop a blood clot of unknown origin, have repeated blood clots, experience recurrent pregnancy loss, have a family history of thick blood or blood clots. With testing, a doctor can assess the risk of some medical conditions related to thick blood. Treatment for health conditions that affect blood clotting, doctors may prescribe drug-based treatments such as antiplatelet therapy. Medications such as aspirin can help prevent blood cells from forming clots. Anticoagulation therapy. Some drugs act on coagulation factors to prevent clots. 
thrombolytics. Doctors may use this clot bursting drugs in emergency situations. Also, protein C and anti thrombin factor may be suitable for some people. A doctor will only prescribe medication if a dangerous blood clot has formed or they suspect that the person has an increased risk, risk of clotting. Doctors may also recommend quitting smoking and avoiding secondhand smoke, losing weight if necessary, doing regular physical activity, avoiding sitting for long periods, moving the legs and feet frequently to support blood flow.